Welcome Libra. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Lover's Oracle. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a love reading per se, um, but more so about relationships in your life. Okay, Mystical Wisdom and the Light Seer's Tarot. Alrighty, let's get into it here Libra. Starting with Lover's Oracle. Three cards for Libra please. Three cards for Libra. Okay, excellent. That first one I didn't like how it jumped out. But anyhow, we've got three here. Let's have a look. So the first card here is, whoa, transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Okay. You know, this could even be, like, for some reason, I just actually got this about a career that something's about to um, transform or take off, I guess. Mm. And it's about the love that we put into it which helps it do that. Rather than this expectation, it's about what are we actually uh, nurturing it with, right? Anyway, next card here is time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. See, about the expectation, right? And um, what was the other thing I just saw then? You know, when things aren't working out the way that we want them to or expect them to, um, that can create resistance from uh, us getting to where we want to go with something. So this is very important for you to be aware of right now. Okay, so the next card here, Libra, is this card here, which has no title. But it says, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of pl placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Okay. So is it possible, Libra, that your relationship with one another is about to deepen, that this could be the relationship with yourself? But also, in saying that, when we do take a step back to work on ourselves or do whatever we need to do, we then come back refreshed to a situation which can help that growth to occur. So anyway, let's have a look. Two cards for transformation for Libra, please. Interesting, because I feel like we're weaving in and out of different scenarios here right now. Two cards for transformation for Libra, please. One. There it is. So this first one here is resilience. Rise above tribulations. Okay. Just wonder if some of you are feeling quite um, weighed down bogged down by things that are happening with someone else um, and sometimes it's a matter of really tapping into the love that we actually have inside for that person um, and, and, and potentially the love that maybe we once had that we may not um, be accessing as easily as what we once did. Um, yeah, so two cards for resilience for Libra, please. Tell me more about this for Libra. And I feel like for some of you, it's about rising above certain things, you know, and um, maybe not focusing too much on the little nitty gritty things um, and really seeing the bigger picture. Didn't like that just fell out. Okay, two cards for resilience. Okay, that one fell out too. Okay, so that's okay though, because I feel like I need, yep, 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 see? Um, yeah. I feel 
you like, Libra. There's a need for you to speak up. There's a need for you to be the one to break the pattern. I feel as though for some of you, you, you want the pattern to be broken, but because potentially you don't see the pattern as coming from you, that it's a, this other person, that you feel like you're not in control of actually being able to um, break the pattern and you may not even feel like it's your responsibility. But what I want to say about this Libra is there's a particular response to a pattern which you are responsible for. This could be your pattern though that we're talking about here. So take it as it fits, okay? I feel like there's this real need to stand up and voice what it is that you, um, it's, it's like voicing it will help you to release. Um, things that you've been maybe holding on to or hiding in a sense. Hmm. We've got for Archangel Gabrielle here, messenger of creativity and hope. Some of you feel like you need some sort of protection. Maybe a little bit vulnerable. And, and maybe this is about speaking out would be like, oh my gosh, I could never do that. <laughs> um, but that's actually that inner child, realistically. That's the inner child who's afraid to speak up, right? Um, the thing is, Libra, this is interesting. There's this need to learn to deal with conflict. To speak up. Hmm. Okay, two cards for Archangel Gabrielle, please. Sorry, I feel like I keep, keep drifting away here, but I've just, yeah, I kind of feel like there's some of you who um who are too afraid to say what it is maybe that you you need. Um, you don't want to ruffle feathers, is what I'm seeing here. Um, you just kind of want everything to be sweet as and um, not for there to be any complications. Um, because of the fear of conflict and um, that there's this sense that if you speak up or say something that it could cause an issue um, that you're not quite prepared to deal with. But... Um, Holding on to it is only going to allow this pattern to repeat. And maybe this is your pattern. Maybe it's your pattern of not speaking up when, um, you know, when you need to, potentially. Um, yeah, because you're worried about what it will do. You're worried about the implications. But what I want to say is the way that you've learned to speak up in the past, Libra, um, there's another way to do that. It doesn't have to be aggressive or abrupt or, um, you know, anything that's going to cause a negative reaction. There are other ways to approach things, okay? So, yeah, this is, you know, about um, learning to do things. This is about birthing something new for yourself. This is really like I'm seeing all these children around Archangel Gabrielle, but I also feel that it's really important for you to be calling on Archangel Gabrielle right now to help you through this because um, this is going to lead, what's this card here? Yeah. See, this is the fear. This is the fear of, um, you know, what, what maybe has happened in the past when you did speak up and voice your own opinion. Okay, this is a new way of doing things. Okay, okay, because I feel like for yourself, um, this is going to help you transform. Okay, and not just you, but the entire relationship. So, yeah. 
Okay, so time. Let's have a look at time for you. Two cards for time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. This is the thing. And, and I kind of feel like Libra trying too hard, maybe overthinking in a sense the whole situation. Um, but also be very aware of um, what is your responsibility and what is other people's responsibility. Don't take everything on to be like, I have to fix this. I have to do it. Um, that person you know, for whatever reason, they don't have the skills, they don't know how to do that, or they don't know how to, you know, have these conversations, whatever. Everyone's responsible for their own. It's not up to you to um, take on that responsibility for them, okay? So this is incredibly important to make sure those boundaries are created, okay? Letting go. Yes, learn to let go. Learn to let go of those responsibilities which are not yours learn to categorize what belongs to you and what doesn't okay so two cards for letting go also when we talk about trying too hard looking at why are you trying too hard you know whatever that could be over and this could be you know what's the fear what are you afraid of are you afraid of losing someone um you know where is that stemming from and um, what is it that you believe will happen if, say, they chose to walk away? What what's what's your biggest fear on that, right? So let's one more one more card for what is it? Letting go. Did that fall out right? Yep, yeah, it did. Okay, um, so we've got, yeah, <sighs> yeah, 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 okay, so here's the thing, right, potentially, if, you know, if you're letting go, things are ended, something's ended, or by letting go, it causes something to end, okay, this is, I feel like, a bit of a fear of yours, okay, um, it's kind of like you, you're, you're happy, even this, yeah, you're, yeah, you're happy for things to end, but it's the conflict that you don't want as part of the ending. It's kind of like if it would just go away, then it will be okay. It's kind of like you want it to end, but you don't want to actually take charge of that happening. And I feel like part of your growth here, Libra, is to take control of this, to get in the driver's seat and steer the wheel, okay? Depending on your circumstance, of course, but whatever it is in relation to this ending, it's kind of like you are at the driver's seat of your own car. Your car is how you travel through life. No one else can steer that for you. It is entirely up to you. So how are you going to steer the wheel? Hmm. Next card here is Battle of the Blues. Take steps towards positive change. Yeah, I kind of feel the sense of trying to hide away, trying to slump down in the swamp to be like, oh, hopefully if I just stay here long enough, it will just all go away and I don't have to deal with it. Nah, not really. Not really. Because the thing is that even if it happens over this circumstance, there's going to be another one and another one and another one that's going to pop up throughout your life until you learn to do sort of the hard stuff. Um, yeah, some of you are so afraid of getting your heart broken and others of you are really afraid of breaking a heart. Both of which you don't want the responsibility of. But, you know, if this is about you breaking someone else's heart, it's still up to them to take responsibility about how they heal. That's not something you can control. 
that's in their court, okay? Hmm. Anyway, okay, so Libra, two cards for battle with the blues here, please. Two cards for battle with the blues. And the thing is, ultimately, the majority of us, we don't want to hurt people. We don't want that to happen. Um, but things do happen, you know. Oh, I've got this card flip over. I've just seen that sticking out there. Um, yeah, I feel like this is about you needing to rise up and take charge of your life, okay? Um, it, 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 there's this um, sense of, but they see this card here again is this fear. It's the fear of being shut out in the cold, um, being, oh yeah, being looked upon as being the bad guy. And it's kind of like you just want to take off from the situation so you're not seen as, as bad. It's like, no, but I had to go and do this kind of thing. Um, but here's the thing. The key to go through the door and move forward is to stand up, okay? To stand up into the light and go, here I am. This is how I feel. This is what I want and move forward, okay? So... Next card here, Libra. Now, where are we? This, this deck. Two cards for this card for Libra, please. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Yeah, this is it. You know, you've got to do that. And maybe there are people pulling at your heartstrings because they don't want you to let go, you know? But that's about them, Libra. That's about them, okay? Not you. You're not responsible for that. That is up to them to take care of. Okay, this is where it's very important to make sure that you're clear on, uh, on this codependency, okay? Because sometimes if people are codependent um, with us and we, we can enable that because we don't want to hurt them, we don't want to see them in that situation, right? Sometimes it's us who are like, no, please don't go. And, um, you know, because we feel like we're not going to be able to survive without that person. So this is very important to be, get clear on where you're at with both sides of the coin here so that you can do the work that you need to do, which is your responsibility. And whatever's going on for everyone else on the other side of the coin is their responsibility, not yours. Okay, we have Archangel Raphael here. Provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. Oh, I love it. I love, love, love it. Okay, so two cards for Archangel Raphael, please. Yeah, that's more like it. That one wasn't right. Okay, so. Mm, yeah, see, um, there's... This this is what I feel like. Um, this there's a fear of the unknown. There's a fear of not being able to see around the corner. There's this um, sense of like, oh, but you know, what if this happens or what if that happens, right? Um, and so this is about you empowering yourself to just step forward. One step at a time. You know, have the courage to do this. Ask for Archangel Raphael to come be with you. Ask for Archangel Gabrielle to come be with you, right? To give you the courage to move forward, okay? Because the fact of the matter is you do have the strength within you to do this, okay? This is about embracing the King of Wands energy to go, this is what needs to happen. And this is what will happen. You know, you can do that in a loving way. And like I say, whatever whatever anyone else takes from that is their responsibility. Okay, uh, we have intuition here. Trust your intuition. So, you know, while it may be scary because you can't see what's around the corner, your intuition, when you, when you get out of this here and step into this intuition, that is going to help be that guiding light for you. So you're not going to feel like you're being drowned um, by the uncertainty of what will happen because realistically 
um, what will happen for you is really the only thing that you need to be um, focusing on, okay? And and I know, Libra, that's not to say you go and chop everyone's head, head off and go, well, you know, I'm just focusing on me. Um, not about that. But I'm fairly sure you know where I'm coming from here. Okay, so two cards for intuition here, please. What? Yeah. Yep, see, this is getting out of your head, okay, um, because at the moment it's kind of like you, you're getting this headache from what's going on, but actually the headache is your thoughts about it, okay, um, and, and the intuition can't get through, the intuition is trying to communicate with you, um, and the thing is, it gets there, sometimes you get a glimpse of it, and it's like, oh yeah, no, and then you feel like empowered, and you're like, yeah, no, nah, I'm sure of what's you know, of what I'm doing and where I'm going, but it's the slightest moment of that, and then the head comes in again, it's like, yeah, but what about this, and what about that, and blah, 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 blah. and it's like, oh, yeah, oh. and then you lose that, um, so this is very, very crucial here, Libra, to be clearing all these thoughts, okay, write them all down if you have to, just to get them out, um, but the other thing I do want to say about these thoughts, though, is Because the thoughts are there tugging at you to get your attention. Okay, part of that is fear. So, in that regard, look at the fear. The fear may be this emotion that needs to be paid attention to. Okay, um, it could be creating another emotion. It could be anger. It could be frustration. It could be anything. Okay, but look at the emotion that has been created from these thoughts running around in your mind. Because those are the sorts of things that you need to be addressing in order to stand in this power to move forward, okay? Now, here's the thing, coming back to this card here, I want to say is that when you do this for yourself, okay, your relationship will deepen, okay? And, um, and, and it will deepen because the responsibility and the onus of what belongs to each party will be evenly divided and it won't be on one person to take care of. Okay, Libra, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.